This portion of the news is brought to you by the new Shell and Letter, designed for extra miles. Welcome back. Six days after the brutal stabbing death of Australian podiatrist Dr. Philip Vasili at his posh mansion in Western New Providence, police confirmed this evening that a 54-year-old relative is expected to face murder charges as early as tomorrow. Up until Saturday, three people, including Vasili's wife Donna, as well as two other relatives, were assisting police with their investigations. The Australian couple, as well as their two adult children, now call the Bahamas home, owning two houses, as well as an office in Old Fort Bay an exclusive gated community. The multi-millionaire podiatrist was found stabbed to death in the dining room of his new mansion. Police estimate he had been dead for more than seven hours. With four practices in Australia and Nassau, the facility Empire grew when he started an orthopedic brand of footwear now sold in 25 countries worldwide, including the Bahamas and the U.S. His wife Donna is the project manager of the family's multi-million dollar enterprise, Facility International estimated at $200 million. As the saying goes, it is a blessing to give than to receive. And on this Palm Sunday, a local nonprofit organization is doing just that. Today, members of the Pilot Club of West Nassau presented 18-year-old Gregory Cash, who was physically challenged with a generous monetary gift. Cash was recently robbed. President of the Pilot Club of Nassau, Nadia Store, says the organization strives on giving back to the community, especially to those persons with brain disabilities. We heard of your story on Air on Zadness a few weeks ago about your misfortune, Mr. Cash. And so as a part of our mandate, we care more and we do more for people in our community. And so today we are here to give you a little gift. And in pilots, we call it a pick-me-up. And so this is a little donation from our club to you, sir. Thank you so much. For the tragedy and the trauma and the drama that you went through. Mm -hmm. And we pray God's blessing and protection on you and your, over your life. And we pray for those persons that did that horrible incident to you that they would come and give their lives to Christ and be better people in our community. Now, young Gregory Cash Jr. and his family thank the Project Division of the Pilot Club of Nassau, not only for the much-needed gift, but for thinking of them in such a special way. I appreciate that very much. This means a lot to me. God bless all of you. I just want to say thanks to each of you. Um, it's been a downer, what Gregory has gone through for the past several weeks. Um, Sad to say no one has been caught as yet, but this really is a picker up for him, um, knowing that somebody cares. He's had some times when he, he's, he's been in, uh, in a state of depression, but um, since then he has picked himself up. He's been reading the word and has kept him strong, and, and he's continuing now to, to go on the path that God has already laid out for him. Today is Palm Sunday. Millions of Christians around the world and right here at the Bahamas observe this day which marks the beginning of Holy Week. It's one of the most significant highlights on the Christian calendar. Christians use this time to reflect on the life, crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Palm Sunday recalls the entry of Jesus into Jerusalem riding on a donkey amid shouts of Hosanna while scattering palms in his path. Here at home, thousands of Christians attend the Palm Sunday church services to observe the triumph procession while reflecting on the Passion of Christ. This Holy Week includes Good Friday, where Jesus was crucified on a cross more than 2,000 years ago, and culminates at Easter when Jesus rose triumphantly from the dead. A new children's playgroup which seeks to enhance the language skills of pre-kindergarten students is now available in the capital since the establishment of the program in June last year. Organizers say they have seen tremendous progress in students who have taken full advantage of the program. It's a foundation built on the love of learning for children between the ages of 15 months to 2 years old. The new children's playgroup learning institution on Village Road will go a long way in focusing on the language development of some 17 enrolled students. The facility can accommodate up to 30 students per semester. Yolanthi Yallop is the mother of 22-month-old Milani Yallop. She says her daughter has been in the program for a year and strongly believes she is in the right place to develop the skills she needs to succeed academically. Driving and it's A, or oh, don't let her see KFC, it's F, 
K, C, so she's recognizing her letters. And I think it's really amazing to see the progress because this is only her second term and she's counting. And most of the one to 10 is in sequence, but sometimes you'll just have a random seven, eight, nine. But I am just extremely pleased with her progress. President Alexis Knowles says this play-based program assists in building the trust between the student and teacher. She says it also provides a comfortable learning atmosphere for the toddlers who are leaving home possibly for the first time. This is their first school experience. They've never been away from home. They've never been with us before. So we're forming that basis for trust between a caregiver and a child. And that's very important because in the beginning they don't, they're coming to us and they don't know us and they don't know that that somebody's going to come back for them. So we have to form that trust and we have to support them in wherever they are. So some of them, which is why we we have multi-level age groups because we give them an opportunity to move between groups because not every child is alike and some of them are much further ahead and so we meet them where they are. Knowles says in the future she expects the children's play group to expand from a learning institution to a community resource center. So we started a recycling program where people are bringing in their items and we're storing them in our art room and so the kids get to see that things can be reused. They bring in things and then we are also uh, inviting people to come in and if they lo are looking for something they can actually use it. We have art classes. We try to work with members of the community. We donate to the Down Syndrome Center. We're supporters of that group. Uh, we, have a we have gardening so we're growing our own food. Just allowing them to see the wider picture as opposed to just here. And that does it for this portion of the news, but don't you move. Sports with Kelsey Johnson is up next.